very, very big city. Will gamers who live in New York have an advantage if they're trying to navigate this world? <laughs> Actually, I think so. Uh, they recognize themselves and they'll be able to navigate uh, pretty good. But we're, we're still doing a lot of um, uh, gameplay enhancements to be able to navigate easily. Uh, just by scanning the environment, you, you can always find the landmarks uh, and they're visible from throughout the, the city. Uh, but also through the UI, we have this very innovative uh, map where you can uh, you can access the map at all times and you can see a 3D recreation of, of, uh, of New York and you can easily find where you need to go. New York's also known for taxis and subways. Will there be transportation beyond on foot? Uh, I don't want to talk too much about the features of the game, but uh, what you've seen in the game is almost what we have. So that's... <laughs> and for those who aren't familiar, just give us the, the, the basic story of what's going on in this world. So there's been a, um, a virus released in Black Friday. Uh, that is in, in infected a, a large part of the population and the society collapses very quickly since everything is interconnected you need to have like like the hospitals are already at 90 percent capacity and all of a sudden you put a virus on top of this and the whole society collapses and uh, and it goes fairly quickly uh, so th th there is the, this agency called the division that is prepared for this type of event when uh, this type of catastrophe, uh, catastrophe happens and uh, the agents are being activated at the moment when uh, there is uh, something called Directive 51 uh, where the president takes control uh, almost in a dictatorship kind of control of the country and the agents get activated and he's like uh, there is no, no chain of command anymore so they are directly under the president to be able to uh, to follow the mission and, and their mission is to to say what remains uh, because very like very quickly in a situation like this uh, the whole country could just disappear or just uh, uh, everything could go into chaos and, and you have these agents to be able to stop that this being a tom clancy game what does that bring to the the gameplay experience so we we did a lot of research on tom clancy very early on and if you look at the books it's very often based on uh, on real people, on civilian guys and so on. So we, we, we went to the, the root of Don Clancy and found our heroes, our agents, uh, since they are embedded in society, they are real people, normal people, that are being put in this uh, extraordinary circumstance where they need to be able to act. Um, so that's one part. The second part is the authenticity, realism, uh, in a way that it's like, um, uh, I mean, you have sh military shooters, but not, not many are as realistic or as uh, um, plausible as the Tom Clancy games. So that, that was very important for us, that we, like everything is, that we do is based on research, including the story, including the, like for example, Directive 51, the technology is all based on, on, on real, uh, uh, real things that exist right now that we, we extrapolate uh, our fantasy on top of. When it comes to the next generation consoles, what's it been like developing for them? So for us it was, uh, it's been amazing because uh, all of a sudden we get uh, all, this, um, all this power that we, we, we could never do before. Like we have a, like the multi-core, we have a the huge amount of memory, we have a very advanced graphics and so on. So for the first time we can, we can do things that we just couldn't do before. Uh, so for us it would have been great. What excites you about this being the first generation of games we're seeing on that and where, you, where next gen can go in terms of opening up your creative powers? Uh, so for us it was... Um, when we started, we already said in very early on that we, we would do a game that was for next gen only. Uh, we didn't have to take in consideration on on the last generation or the constraints that existed. So we could we could uh, do the whole game and the gameplay and the game design based on not following the the previous constraints, but the new constraints that the the the, the consoles have. So it, it's like removing a um, like a layer of constraints when you, you don't have to think about uh, like polygon counts as you'd had to do before or the amount of AI or the scale of the world. Some, some things just disappear and you can build based on that from the very beginning. <laughs>